Brown. Oh, get out of the way. I've arrived. With. And he's strong. He doesn't need to move his feet, Chris Gale. He'll take his time if he needs to because he trusts his ability to catch up on that run rate. Get on the gas. That's a lovely shot. Beautifully played. Touch of class. Uh, give the evidence how well they have bowled. Full flow of the bat down the ground, bisecting the fielders on long on and long off. And here he comes once again into the act. Was trying it to pitch it on the fuller area. 13 runs of the last over. Giving some flight and yes, here he goes once again. Chris Gale off at the moment, but it still need uh, quite a few from them. That's a poor delivery. Easy pickings onto the legs. All you had to do is just find a little bit of bat on that, and that would, uh, went off uh, quite easily to the boundary. That's what can happen. Uh, a good over can do to a batsman. There you go. Thank you very much. Take that. That's into the stands. Go. Guild style. Closing the concentration. He was in all straight away after conceiving that boundary. And now back to back. Both by Gil Parr. 10 runs of the first two. Yay. Ah. You little beauty. Thank you very much. That's uh, gone. A long, long way. What a shot uh, from Chris Gale. Brings up the 406 in this tournament. In style. Suravadi Shubo in complete awe. Total distraction from him in his first over. One second from the Chris Gale bat. What a way to pick up his 50. Back to back success for Chris Gale. That's gone. Don't worry about that. That was off the back foot. What a powerful shot that is. Back to back sixes for him. Look at that shot. Don't worry, mate. That is absolute nearly taking out one of the gentlemen. Off the back foot one more time. Six. This is deep into the stands. Hit the block hole. It was very friendly, wasn't it? A gentle little off cutter halfway down. And Chris Gale needed no second invitation. That was just 101 kilometers an hour. Real hit me ball. And that's exactly what Chris Gale did. His seventh. Oh, God, this is airborne as well. And it's a no ball. Milan, what are you doing? Where the field is a position with Chris Gale batting in this sort of mood because uh, wherever he puts them, Mushvika, Chris Gale is clearing them and clearing them comfortably. He's 8-6. Biggest six of the tournament, 103 meters. Another slow one. And it's gone over. Unheard of. Well, Gale has provoked some real scrambled minds out there. Mushvika has thrown the ball to Hossein Millen. And this really is hit me bowling, buffet stuff, very gentle pace. He's not got it right at all. The skipper's absolutely distraught. And he's drilled the next ball down the ground. That'll be four more. Sort of T20 is back. Awesome power. And and would you believe it? He's reached 97. He's hit tens. He gets to a hundred, Chris Gale. Third hundred in BPL. And this is only his sixth match. What a time to get a hundred. They were five for 64. Yes. Yes. Short ball. It's way deep into the crowd. Six. So we thought, what will I do in response? I'll bang it in. And that's Chris Gale's response, an emphatic one too. About 20 rows back. 12 sixes in the inning, that's a world record. 
Has that gone all the way? No, it hasn't. He's found the fielder. Nabi has struck. Privileged to have watched this. Well, if Garcia hadn't been there, I think that would have gone for six as well. And he was in the right place at the right time. Just checking. He didn't stray towards the boundary edge. Nabi's a happy man. It's his first wicket of the evening. But what an innings from Chris Gale. That Chris Gale show. There it is, that scorecard. 114 of 51 by Chris Gale. That was awesome. Absolutely fascinating cricket. Uh, Sillet Royals now need 198 to win in their 20 overs. 9.9. .9. They're not out of it yet.